it's important to be aware that the ultrasound machine is going to give us a different image uh, based on the density of the object which is in the sound field. So, as part of this, we need to know that there are certain artifacts which are going to show up depending on what we're looking at. So, for example, a very common artifact is called shadowing. And shadowing happens where the object that we're looking at is absorbing 100% of the sound waves. So, underneath that structure, we're going to get a shadow. So, in this example, we're going to have a quick look at the patella. So, this is the surface of the patella and everything underneath that is being shadowed by the hard bony structure. So it's, it's showing up as a bright white line at the top here because it's reflecting back and, and not uh, letting any sound waves pass through it. So that's called shadowing there. That can actually be useful from a diagnostic point of view. If, say, somebody were to have a calcific tendinopathy and you'd be able to see the shadows uh, representing as bright white lines with a shadow underneath them. So that's going to tell us that there's some bone or bone-like material within the tendon which, which we wouldn't be expecting to see there. Another art artifact that we have to be aware of is something called anisotropy. So anisotropy basically uh, refers to when the ultrasound waves are passing through a structure which is uh, not perpendicular to the sound wave. So here we can see the patella tendon and we see the nice fibula pattern here. As it changes direction when it comes and it inserts down onto the tibia here, we see some darkness. And darkness on ultrasound would usually correlate with a, with a tear if it was a tendon, or it might be uh, some fluid. But in this case, it's just because the angle of the tendon is changing here as it inserts onto the bone, and that phenomenon is called anisotropy. So, all we have to do with that is rock the probe back and forward or side to side and you'll see that the darkness disappears or reappears depending on the angle that we have the probe at. So that's called anisotropy and, and it can lead to confusion or misdiagnosing an, an area which is just not lined up properly as a tear or some fluid. Okay. The other thing that um, we should be aware of is uh, Let's stop it there. Let's